save it for the mic. My way, bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys. Yo, this is Save It for the Mic, and we are here for a season three. Ladies and gentlemen, look at us. We are in this bitch. It's starting over. Yes, sir. You're not going to get enough of it. You know why? Because we are fucking amazing, and I cannot wait to get into this conversation today. We're going to be talking about some, some, some Hollywood parties. Hollywood fun look in them it. streets. He's, he's looking at his chops. Right around the corner from you. I mean, what, you what? got some stories. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes sir. Around, you got to have you. something to share there, friend. I'm getting that early. I, I want to make sure yeah, I get cool. my first. I want my interview first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before sure. we do anything, I got to introduce everybody. You know, with, with my nephew, Nike, a.k.a. AKA King Nike. Oh, I'm going around Bareface. You don't know Bareface in the building, the innovator, the creator, and as always, Mr. Weak Pullout Game is back. Oh, man. And Mr. Uh, Black Sin, AKA Save for the Mike ECC. King Shit, AKA D Skittles in the building, son of Gualo Peso, you know. I don't renaissance, you know, some people call me PT, but we're going to go by rabbit today. And, uh, you know, we got some, we got a good show for y'all today. We got a good topic. We're going to come in, we're going to come in a little hot with some, uh, with some news from the streets, some, some buzzing out there in the Twitter sphere. What you got for me, Barry? You said you had something up first. What you got? I just had to share this, guys. This, this one right here gonna give you some shock and awe oh wait 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 we put somebody on blast right now oh this is a bug well no, yeah, like to, yeah, that felicity needs to be put on blast i feel she has earned Get out of here. This early? I, I think she earned it go ahead i had a feel i could tell with the way he was talking that we was about to put somebody on blast what you got dog she got to get it, man. She got to get it. Can anybody get this right? Black, I know you don't cheat, so your answer is, is not included. Mm. Woman gets pregnant by a goat. A dog? Wrong, wrong, wrong and wrong. <laughs> a 12 year old. At least you're on humans, okay? And wrong again. <laughs> Twelve year old Nike, you got anything? Another woman. A tranny. <laughs> oh, great! That's, that's, you don't have to say that no more. What about Yo, a whore? Y'all ready for this? Y'all buckle about up for this one. You have to buckle up for this one. Okay. Felicity Mama Duke got arrested with a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond because she got pregnant by a corpse. Oh, cool. wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the music. How the how in the world can a corpse number one have a full, you know, erection? Her, and then are, they number swimming? Two, are they swimming at that point? Her profession I should have mentioned was mortician. Okay. How do they know that she got pregnant by a corpse? She told everybody I fucked the corpse. I I I am not sure exactly how she got caught. I believe um, questions DNA arose. DNA came back, and yeah, I think questions arose. And it's to my understanding, the guy that got her pregnant wasn't quite dead. He got taken off life support, but he was still, I guess, comatose. Ah, uh, okay. Because I was about to say, you need a heartbeat to get an erection. I she was know, trying like, to get some money. I, or at what? first, I thought there was maybe some leftover jizz left in the tank and that just spilled so out. You like, but make a cup of it and drink it. You know, I'm they still said trying to figure died, it out. They said we, died, we just relieve ourselves. So I thought that was part of the release process. You know, I, I, I didn't. I wasn't sure exactly how this worked. Black, black, black if he, if use your imagination. Up here, how does down hmm. there? Ugh. Yeah. Question. You, but, ever, you ever woke up getting getting taken? 
I mean, yes, but okay. still in my mind, I still know what's going on, so I can be. Ugh. So either either it was one or the other, in my opinion. On the one hand, just like you know the natural cycle, you know, you go to sleep, you wake up, you know, you automatically, you know, got got the morning tent pitched, mm-hmm. you know. So maybe 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 she took advantage, or also. You know, there could be a, a mental, physical disconnect, but she was still jangling his keys and 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 the car still started, you know, e, you know, even though he wasn't in the driver's seat. And, and you know, we, we all know our dick got a mind of his own. It do what it want to do. I don't know how many of y'all have used that excuse to get out of. It's not an excuse. How many times I have mean, you been paying attention when you ain't trying to pay attention? You get what I'm saying. I'm just saying. How, how many of y'all have gotten out of trouble by saying, you know, it's got a mind of its own? I'm not that. I'm not that low down. It's not. It's not an excuse, though. We're being honest. Yeah, it wasn't I mean, me, baby. I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I tried to walk away. You was on your period. Look, that's been your excuse. <laughs> That's uh-huh. pretty messed up. You can't wait a week, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got one, man. A uh, dude killed himself right outside an elementary school the other day. Found his body uh, laying in the concrete, just in time, like like at six o'clock in the morning. Somebody found him laying on the concrete next to his car gun under the car blah 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 it's elementary school man these kids walk to school it's a neighborhood school dog this was near you yes man hey yes. too close to home too close oh, man uh, and you know I, I'm, a, I'm out in the suburbs so it's easy to go find a nice dark place to, you know meet meet your maker it's very easy to do but why you have to go find the darkest place next to an elementary school i don't know Maybe talk but, about all the diet hey, in LA. He was just eating bullets. Deuces. <laughs> if I know where you live, if you you live behind a mountain, and I seen that mountain. Yeah, it's a big ass mountain. I don't know if there's any type of jurisdiction behind that mountain. But that mountain itself, a serial killer could kill however many people he want and take out to that mountain. Yeah, that's see, no yeah, you you thinking about it from here. a two dimensional space, and you when I mean, you add that third dimension of sixteen miles deep away from it, yeah, I can into only it. the mountain that's range is a, that mountain range is about there's a sixteen mile gap to where you can build it. So all the rest in the middle is sixteen miles of rolling mountains. So Ooh. what you're saying is true. Yes, there's lots of mountains where yeah, people are probably mountain, already at. Yeah, he home free. Yeah, but this guy, this guy, yeah, he, I, I just think that's fucked up. You want to kill yourself? Do it where it don't hurt nobody. Yeah, <laughs> now somebody, now somebody gotta find you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's let that sink in for a minute. Do it where it ain't gonna hurt nobody, which is not killing yourself. That's, that's my, my main point. I don't see some strange stuff in your heels already. That just. Ooh. Hey man, I ain't nothing strange over here but me. Man, I that's, made a that's wrong our, turn going to Simi Valley and I ended up in some mountains. Yeah, I, I mean, anybody else got anything? I, I'm, 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 I'm ready to get on into that I wanna, buzz. I want to put on, I want to put on Blast P Diddy's son real quick. What his uh, son do? This just popped into my mind. He put out a diss track, <laughs> uh, uh, talking to Fifty Cent. Um, yeah, I heard and, that. Yeah, and I, I can't give you the exact lyric. But one of the lyrics was basically, the feds didn't find nothing in this house because we took everything next door. So he on blast for just being an idiot. Like, if anything, at this point in time, you should just shut up for a while. I, I, you're trying to throw a diss trap, but you're telling on yourself. Your father not even stateside. Can, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Has he ever it's recorded a song before? Unfortunately, yeah. He's like a little a little C-level rapper. And he talking to 50? Yep, 50 Cent. You know what's song by King Kong? G-Unit. Oh, see, you you know his name. He his sound name like King Kong. You sound like a, see, I didn't even know his name. You know his name. His name King is King Kong. Kong. King Kong. Well, no, 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 that's his, that's, that's not his stage name. That's his literal name. Uh, 
Okay. Leave it to Diddy. Yeah, stage that, name. That's his. That's his government name. Leave it to Diddy to name his son after a big ass monkey. That's great. That's wow. The dude sound like King Cole. That is what you said, ain't it? No, King Combs. Sean Combs, P. D. Combs. That's his last name, but his name is King Combs. I heard King Kong. <laughs> I was like, that's so Diddy. That's just so. So that's, that's a hard man. movie, though. That's yeah. a hard movie. King Kong, Godzilla, the second, the second right, round. Let's, let's not get out. This came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm ready to get into this topic, man. So we need to end this. What? No, let's get into this. Let's get into this gossip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do this. Uh, uh, yeah, we don't want to go down this way. What is you don't want to tell us, man? What is you trying to not tell us, man? I can't help so, myself. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys know this, but I occasionally, we just gonna jump into. I occasionally go and meet hey, with my friends. Hey, can I? And, can I? Can we build a suspense? Go to break or something, and then come back on the I other was side. Like, I'm just like, why you want to do that now? Okay. okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's pay some bills, and we'll be right back. But first, let me talk about English Custom Creations. I'm sure he has a cup or something over there. Show us. I got re- on. He got a shirt on that say King shit. Talking about he don't have right. nothing. But, <laughs> but they make all of our wares, all of our goodies, our shirts, our swag, our hats, our cups, and mugs. Go to EndlessSeaCreations.com. And that's where you'll find all the Save It For The Mic swag and many more. And you can also get your own customized material. Check this out, man. We'll be right back. This is Save It For The Mic. I'm making Gucci moves, my whip, bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys. Yes, 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 yes. We are back. We are back. Hey, man, I hope y'all had a good break. You know, we're back. I don't, I don't know what they selling, but I hope it's some good shit. Hey, check this out. Okay. Just push it. Why, why don't you? The producers want us to talk about Hollywood parties. Yes. Yes. I think, I think that's a great... Say, well, see, I was just talking about little King Combs. This is a great segue to his father, who who just got in trouble for Hollywood parties. Right. Yeah, they're going to call them Hollywood ditties. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we're talking about this topic, because of all the publicity, all the heat that Diddy has been getting lately for his, for his extreme parties. You know who else has been getting some heat uh, a little more recently? Who is that? Drake. Megan Stallion? Drake. You said Drake? My, my my brother in Christ, Aubrey oh, yeah. uh, Aubrey Drake Graham. Prayers, prayers out like you, me young pray, too. Prayers a whole like another brother. conversation. Uh, I, I know you're fighting this. No, uh, Kendrick was just talking about you know he be doing you know some 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 interesting parties and stuff at his at his mansion, which he calls quote unquote the embassy. Mm. That's so, a creepy name by itself to me. No, I mean, I get what, the embassy. It is, it, 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 is, it is a little creepy, but it's so huge. Like the place is huge. It's, it's almost like an American embassy. In Where Canada. is it? it? It's in it's in Toronto. Oh, okay. We well, have lots of parties at the embassy. That's that, that's n- n- nothing has been reported to the level. You know, if we're, we're if if Drake asked any of y'all to come to the embassy to kick it, would you go? I'm, I'm thinking you're talking about the embassy hotel. I'm pulling up. Where they got the manager special? I'd probably go. I'm pulling up. Yeah, I've been to parties before. Parties and parties. Yeah, I, 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 I know when it's time to leave a good party. Ooh, no. Have you ever been to a party and saw something that you went, what the fuck? And then, you, you know, you just questioned it. <laughs> I, mean, you know, I, you I had some pretty wild parties myself. Mm-hmm. You, you could mm-hmm. open a room and be surprised. Yeah. But not as surprised as you would be at a Didi party. There you go. There's a difference. So what, what happens at the Diddy party? You haven't heard the things like people like Jaguar, right, would be saying, and, and and these people like you you would walk into a room and uh, you know it it might be a, a guy and a girl, it might be two dudes. You two never dudes. know what you want. Might might be three dudes. It, it, it might be all yeah. three, four, five. You, you, you a lot never of know store, a lot of store fighting going on. And a, and a, and and a, the weird thing. 
about the Hollywood deal. And y'all know about Harvey Weinstein, the uh, Hollywood executive. Um, he, he, he had one of his cases thrown out simply because there were so many charges. And, <laughs> and, and what people do is they, they use Back the, or, or at least this is what they saying Diddy was doing. There was cameras in every room. And so he would invite these people over. He would get these people drunk, you know, you know, things you would do at a party. But then they're saying he would record them and use them for blackmail. To get what he wants. Right, right, right. To put people in a peculiar situation, you know, to save for later down the road. This sounds like a private beef to me. What, what What's just odd is how you got raids and no warrants. Anybody heard of an arrest warrant for P. Diddy? Not, Has yeah, there been no. anything said issued like any any warrants issued? You know for a fact, if they didn't have a warrant, Diddy would already be announcing his lawsuit. Like that, there's no, they had to no. I didn't mean for the raid. I mean for his arrest. How do you have to to raid my properties to this degree, but no warrant for my arrest? He's too high profile. I don't know. I don't know if that's even. Oh, but Bill Cosby isn't. He Bill Cosby too. It, it, it ain't too good to sit in jail. No, what I'm saying he's so high profile. So, I don't think they could get away with having that party guy. behavior as well. Yeah, they had a warrant for Bill too. I don't think that's a question. This there's so many people complaining about what did it did. It ain't like a question of whether he you know was guilty of messing with somebody. It's like they're trying to find out to what extent. Let me ask you this: B gave the breakdown of that. In his breakdown, he said he record them. Are you? Do you think that these young men are being recorded willingly or unwillingly? Well, I mean, we yeah. all know we all know you can't record nobody without a sign uh, release. So if he recording people without them knowing it, you release that at your own peril as a billionaire, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I that's cool. these cameras so, were hidden in every room. Yeah. I mean, These so yeah, you could, get, you could get money off of that, but at the same time, that's out there that you're getting banged. Nope. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> hey, you know what I'm me, saying? I don't know if money can replace that. Let, that me, let me let me interject this before we move on too far. Um, you can get raided without an arrest. You 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 can have a a a, a warrant for search and seizure before you having a warrant uh, for arrest. The search and seizure warrants are on probable cause. Like if, if, if the FBI raids four of your homes in L.A., Miami, New York and your daughter's house simultaneously, they probably have probable cause that something's going on. But I guarantee you no FBI so, agent so, worked a mayor is going to do that without having a judge sign warrant. And to add to that, Nike, what's still going to bring us back to the same question, though? Check it out. Did they You're arrest him? We found videos, right? I don't think. I'm. I'm not sure they did. They found cameras. Cameras are no recordings. That don't make sense. But see, this is this is what I'm saying about what King Combs was talking <laughs> about in that diss to Fifty. He was. He he literally said the FBI raided and they didn't find nothing because we moved it. And that's why he's on blast for me because why wouldn't you just keep your mouth shut? Yeah, right. what you right, talking right, about? Right. And so and so the point of the raid is to find probable more cause evidence for arrest. But if you can't find nothing, you know you just got to keep looking. And you you know you all right you know we didn't find nothing you know all right you don't have to arrest him. I think that's why he left. Well, to go on somebody's property, you got to have a warrant. So they yeah. had one. If they had a warrant, then they had some kind of accusation that was credible enough for a judge to go, okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. Now, now, you your question wasn't about the actual search warrant. You said arrest. Who did they arrest? Uh, they didn't arrest anybody, but they put his kids uh, and I think his daughter in the cuffs while they searched the house. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Houses. And yeah, they, they definitely did have a warrant because you don't, you don't, you don't, um, I would sue immediately. You 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 don't execute a multi-state operation um, at four different locations simultaneously without a warrant. Mm -mm. And an, and some type of investigation. Like, yeah, they ain't gonna take them chances. 
But, so, you know, he threw parties. If he went, you might be subject to some video surveillance. A lot of people say that. A lot of people think that's why Justin Bieber is under his thumb. Uh, he was he was messing this with this tape. This tape of Justin Bieber doing lots of questions. Doing a man. lot of stuff, man. Oh. Creepy stuff, man. Uh, if Suspect. I was Justin Bieber, I'd be like, take a number, Puff. Suspect. Usher. Puffy, Puffy, number one. Puffy Flavor Camp. Oh, that that just right. got it written all over that. I got sus written all over it, right? I just, I just Flavor made, Camp? Yeah, I just made up a game in my head. What? If you you know what what were you doing on Puffy's tape? Go go bareface. Let's let's get the bingo card out. <laughs> what what, 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 doing what were Puffy you tape? doing on Puffy's tape? Yeah, you at Puffy oh, party? Table he got you on tape doing something. What are you doing? Go. Shit, got me leaving. That's what they got me doing. <laughs> oh, boy, At eleven fifty nine, they got me getting in my driver's seat, pulling out the parking lot. It's That's what they got live, me on camera bro. doing. It's bitches in there too. They ain't all of them real. I know about Hollywood. I know where y'all at. They all of them ain't real bitches. About thirty percent of them real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what you doing? You at a puffy party? They caught you on tape. What you doing? They they they, they won't catch me on tape because I'm not going. <laughs> Why not? No. Before I'm you knew all this, uh, it's too much out there about a dinner party, man. Why? No. Before if you go you to a knew dinner party, all of this, you said before I knew any of this. Yeah. Cause I mean, if you would have asked me this, we've been you know, knew this from time we was in college. We knew about about, about how he carry on. They'll probably no, catch me. Probably catch me on the third floor. You were hearing things from way back then. You used to hear Duck, stuff. Ducked off in the West Wing. Two baddies, butt naked, playing Warzone. Thank college. you, Bear Black. I mean, Nike. Thank you. Thank you. Nike. And, 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 camp and walked maybe, in at one at one o'clock, and then the Roman camp walked in. Find me in a pool with a snorkel on. Maybe, maybe we did a little. You know, <laughs> it, it ain't wrong, your girl. snorkel. Maybe, it maybe we did a little bit of that. And it snow. ain't your snorkel, Ren. But, but I heard he had this song <laughs> called Tusi. That Tusi. There I, it I heard, is. I heard he had something called Tusi at the that party. You know, I do a little bit of that snow at the party, but I heard he do that Tusi. What's that, that Black? Nike is our wild card. Tusi, Black. What's the Tusi? You talking Tusi all night? That too. I'm just, I'm just not a liar. Y'all, y'all know. Right. That. Thank you, thank you. No, no, no. He, he said Tusi. They know that if we two, three years ago we had gotten that invitation, we'd have been all up in that party with a ball or three and a pound of weed and a and a and a plate of some. It's eleven fifty nine. When it's time to get, I gotta go back to it. Quick. At what time? At what time? Man, what's your cutoff time? <laughs> Until eleven fifty nine, when it's right. time to it's get, get up out of there with the quickness. Hey, hey, That's when he turned back I into said, a bunker. I said three years ago. That was too soon. I mean, thirteen, fourteen years ago. Three years ago, my man was married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hypothetically, back in the twenty teens, if or twenty less than the teens, if we was invited to one of these parties at Diddy's house, y'all would have gone. Back in college, before Diddy had kids. Well, I don't know. Okay, yeah, even then. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm saying back when, back, back way back, back when, when Lil Kim was still Lil Kim. Back, back, back when she still had her first nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was original. Black kid. Now they had told me Lil Kim was gonna be there. And I ain't know no better. I'm mean, still food Foxy up. Brown gonna be there. I'm yeah, I mean, still foot up in that. You man. know what else Foxy gonna be there? Mary J. Blige. You probably would have caught me on tape with. You know who kid. else gonna be there? Them Lauren Cosby Hill's Hill. gonna be in there. And then I gotta get out. Who? By them. Denied. Them Cosby drinks going to be there too. Mm -mm. What you going to do when you go ahead and grab one of them drinks and wake up that morning feeling a little uh, tender? Mm. They be passing hey, them drinks around speaking there. speaking in too. hindsight. You know, well, you have, you, they be you passing know, them drinks like around mad. too. Would y'all mm -hmm. ever roofie yourself? No. What's the point? Why would I, why, why would I want to roofie Wait, myself, man. B? What the fuck? What the no, fuck? I'm, 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 I'm just That's like masturbating to a muscle relaxer. Why would you do that? Don't everybody jump on me at once. <laughs> okay, I'm just Ruby? saying. You know, some people um, take you know, a root beer on that They'll drink a bottle of a uh, uh, cough syrup. Some people do whippets. You know, they turn the 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 the, the can upside down. Cream, yeah. You know, maybe that's just somebody way to get jacked up. That's you know, they, they 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 take the roofie and they fight the roofie and they drink with it and it. Nah, y'all gave me y'all answer. People we that are looking for their heroin fix and can't. I get ain't it. never 
I ain't never seen no, nobody. I'm not roofing as myself. Roofie. No, you're speaking of, of heroin addicts trying to get by. Yes. Just give me a good shot of tequila. I ain't about three, of three, that's all? Yeah, about three. Good, 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 a good three shots of tequila, man. Full cups. He's easy. How many shots? You may be an alcoholic, man. How many shots of tequila you need? That's only six ounces of tequila. Wow, y'all some alkies. No, I'm just saying that's that's only six ounces. That's is that a lot? It's only six ounces. <laughs> Ren, I like Three how you shot? avoided that question, Ren. All right, hold up. Uh, all right, listen. I, I don't know listen, how much listen. I can drink. Gang, gang, you avoided gang, that gang, question, gang, Ren. Gang, gang, gang. We getting off track. All, all right. right. Tusi. Right. Look, we were talking about Tusi. You were just talking, talking about, about Tusi. So, all right. That- so y'all were lying about what you would actually do at this party. Um, so let's just. I'm gonna I'm let you keep yeah, your threesome should have been your lowest lowest fucking denominator. I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm let you keep your lie, but <laughs> would y'all try this Tusi? No, no. You still have not tell us what this Tusi is. I ain't trying nothing out of this. Is this is this is I don't know what it is. Black black. All black right, so so, like so Tusi. I, I yeah. I'll say what it is. It's it's and I don't mean you know I'm not bashing anybody. But this is a drug that is used at a lot of uh, gay parties. Gay parties, specifically gay parties. Gay parties? This is what you've been on here promoting the whole time, gay drugs. In, in the documentation that I saw is gay parties. What? Why? Why it's specifically that? Well, let me tell you what the ingredients is composed of. It's uh, meth, right? It's no. It's a. It's a. It's a drug called Special K, which is ketamine. Ketamine. Yeah, ketamine. And I think that drug is supposed to get you relax your body like a horse tranquilizer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it, it's literally a horse tranquilizer, not no, like right. a horse tranquilizer. Yeah, it, you got that you, it basically makes you not feel shit. Okay. No. You got that in there. You got uh ecstasy in there. Okay, it's a horny drug. That's the mm-hmm. opposite okay. of ketamine. We got heroin and other things in it. All right, yeah. All right. okay. so we gotta, and we you're supposed to have a little there, cocaine in there as well. Interesting. You got a little cocaine. All so right, it's so got upper and down as in, in, in between. That'll kill you. That's a heart attack. So one's supposed to relax your body, make you feel numb, which is, I think, is the uh, special K. Academy, yeah. Yes. And then you got the cocaine that's supposed to give you this adrenaline rush, but it's supposed to make you your noodle, you know, you, you, you know, make you go a little. But the ecstasy is supposed to get you back up. So you got oh. a whole lot of different feelings going on. You know, you numb. Rocked so, up, but the only thing you got going ready is just I don't know. It's so just, that's the, a crazy, that's a crazy mixture. What's the specification for the LGBTQ crowd? Yeah, why why is this only afforded to do? I don't, you know, I'm thinking yeah, about it like it sounds like a stifler drug. Sound okay, black stifler. Sound like we know who would do hmm. it. I don't no, know who never ever black black stifler or the one who one, one you don't that. know if you coming or going on that shit. No, I, I no. I, but let's just I say that you play that, man. Let's just say that, that that you get hit with something like that, and you you don't know how to respond. You done took something like that in your water, in your beer. You know, you just going on a nice little outing, on a business adventure, or adventure. and I end up at a gay bar, and you got hit with that tusi, and then somebody giving me a gay bar drink. Well, just tell your story, if you don't mind. Which story? You got a story? Yeah, just tell your story. Are we for that intro? What? Do you want to you want to tell it now? Or you want to come back on the other side? I want I want to know what the top, which story. All right. The one where I went for the the one. The, just the tell one where I went for the the. the tell the about interview. the one where I came to, to L.A. You said which story? How many times you? Yeah, get I told him two different stories. Which one? All right. So 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 <laughs> let me say this. So okay. One of the one of the reasons. Do you mind? Can I stew? Can I ring? Hey man, do what you do. Hey, All right. Doing? Thank you. So this is the part I've been waiting on, because you know. My boy's out there in LA. I'm down here in the dirty south. And Love LA. From time to time, I, you know, his, you know, he's a producer. He, he he's out there. He got to get gigs. And yep. sometimes he run into people. They be like, "Hey man, let's come to come 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 to this party." Okay. This All right. party. Hold on, let me, right let me finish. Let me oh, finish. Let okay. me finish. Come to this watch to party. Me. Come to this watch party. We'll talk about it. You know, we hang. We do this. We do that. You know. All right. Cool. So you know, you know, I hit my boy. Up. Hey man, what you doing, man? On that, oh man, I'm about to go to this UFC party. 
Yeah, okay. You know, over here in, you know, it's over here in, in, in he- Beverly Hills, uh, Malibu or some shit. No, I was well, okay, all right. So the, the most recent time he said that, I said, man, you going to a you going to a Diddy party. And I'm like, no, we We go over there. trying to go get a deal. They gonna be smoking. Get off your knees, digger. Get off your knees, digger. See what I'm saying? That's fucked up. (laughs) So every time I'm going somewhere, and I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I'm going to to go meet so and so at this spot. We're gonna watch a fight, or we're gonna play some golf, so like that. He gonna say it's a ditty party. That's fucked up. That, that you see how fucked up that is, but it sounds like it was true. But it could be no. a, it's a possibility, though. That's all I'm saying. It's not a possibility. I don't hang with people that do these things. You don't know who you ha- you don't know. These not your day ones. You don't you don't know what my day ones are in Alabama. These right. them wacky. These them wacky LA types. Exactly. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Just saying. And, all right, and, so, so and, this is why, and, and, you, and you got that haircut all looking all boosty fied. They probably, they probably taking for Get you. Old. I got a boosty haircut. This boosty haircut. I didn't got a hairline like this. That shit is destroyed. Boosty badass, and I zoom right by you. <laughs> <laughs> no man, honestly, um, yeah, I live in LA. I've been to par. I've been to events, but everywhere I've been, it's been with real niggas, dog, like real folks. Like people like us, I don't. I ain't been in no weird space. Hold up. So, so what's the story? What's the story? He said you got two stories. <laughs> so was, all right, all right. So I was working with. I'm working with this chick. This is a story that he's thinking about. He ain't remember. Not. I said. I said. I with this chick that we, that we went to college with. I was working with this chick that we went to college with, and she wanted to do a project, and she had a manager. The manager. Wanted to meet at this specific bar. The bar was in what, what I would say is a very colorful neighborhood. Okay. We go to this bar, and it's obvious that this is not a bar for straight men. That's obvious. There's what gay David women. What and David there's gay men and gay women, and all everybody's there, but it's okay. So I they set me. Where I had my back to the street so I could see everything going on and feel safe. And I, I appreciated that. We had our meeting and we moved on. They knew you was a strong black man, straight you. That, that's how you <laughs> like to sit. You you like to feel in control in case, in, in, in case, in case to danger could face. arise. All right, but this, this is the thing, though. So, So me being me, I grew up in the arts. I've been around all types of people most of my life, like since I was like barely walking. Okay, think they just like me. I'm I'm perfectly comfortable the way I am. Freaky ass, heterosexual, stoop. I'm perfectly fine with that, and that's that's all right. I don't I don't push that on nobody else. If you happen to be of any other persuasion, that's on you. So I'm able to sit in this space. And dude, this is not a Diddy party. This is a restaurant. It, I was right is it, is it, the street from Van Pump, Vanderpump. So Literally. is it is it a is it is it a is it a gay restaurant or is it it's just these what's your, are the what's your, gut, that, what's your gut feeling telling you? <laughs> what so you laughing at? What you, what you laughing at? What's your gut feeling telling you? So, so there ain't no gut feeling. I told you what was in there. It was there was there, there the people who who visited this particular restaurant were of the community LGBT alphabet. So you didn't get like you didn't get tricked into going to like some weird party or like in some weird situation. It was just a all right. Restaurant. Now let's talk about a party, a weird a party, uh, weird. I I was doing. Some shit for oh, it was old school cat. The weirdest thing I ever went to was, ah, but he was a singer, and I videotaped the uh, his birthday party. It was an old school dude. Everybody knows him to who he was. But I remember if I can remember his name right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. As soon as I say, I'm gonna blurt it out. Y'all gonna be like, you was at his party, Booster Collins' birthday party. I videotaped it. Weirdest shit I ever seen. We'll be right back. Weird. What was weird about it? 
just the characters. There was nothing but pimps and hoes everywhere. This, I mean, but that's, I mean, but wait a minute. So you said pimps and hoes. It was there, yeah, yeah. What, what, I was what, right the at pimp, home. Dressed but like they, pimps. This, this is like pimps and hoes from like the sixties and fifties in two thousand and twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so, their hoes were they hoes from the sixties or were they? Yeah. <laughs> They, oh, they didn't they bring updated hoes with them. They brought the same old hoes from the from the sixties. They had feathers and 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 sheer fucking clothes on. Them old titties out. Real money makers. Very. We my ledge. Man, dude, that was it was it was weird. It was a great party though. Hey, you they, can't. They, you they can't was old. They was still dancing, and doing everything, huh? What's it, bro? Nah, bear talking about mileage. I said you can't put too many miles on a Cadillac. <laughs> but <laughs> them Cadillacs got towed in right there. <laughs> New tires on there. Uh, I've I've been I've been to parties where there's pool party and everything's going on. You know, you just you do you. I, I'm sure there was other stuff happening. So you you. you you ain't you ain't never got approached with no crazy shit. I've been approached by crazy shit in Atlanta. I think okay. Bearface was with me. We were walking I through the Lenny's bar. Act, um, <laughs> we were walking through the Lenny's bar. Some shit. That was a long time ago. I'm sure they still doing that shit now. I heard Lenny, you can't even walk in there no more. I was too chicken to go. I ain't going to even lie. And, probably, and still am to this day. <laughs> but but when, 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 when he shared that last story with me, though, man, it just made me think. I know I know, I know, know he was going to an event, and, I, I yeah, I was kind of messing with him. But at yeah, the same time. I ain't tripping. It, I ain't talking about it. Yeah, at the same time, it made me think on some real shit, though. It made me think, like, if you are a producer, an actor who's trying to get your foot in the door, and they invite you to a party or something, and you thinking just a party to go make connections, to go network, to go hang out with people who you hopefully would probably be working with, and at this party, you know, you still trying to get your breakthrough, man. You've been working at this, as a, as being an actor, being a producer for, like, so many years, eight years, ten years, five years, been grinding, and this you feel like this is an opportunity for you to really get your break. Yeah, but but, but hold but, on, let me finish. Oh, let I finish. thought you were done. Go ahead. Nah, nah. And then you go to this party, and you know they tell you the offer. You know they say, hey, look, you no, know, here's the deal. You know, and they just be frank with you, like, look, you could do this by you doing this. We'll give you this, 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 and this. How you know that? I'm just saying, though. I mean, because for some of the stuff that, that we hear about, man, that goes down, it's like, man, how a person even get involved in that stuff? But if you, if you, I won't say you desperate, but if you're trying to find your break, you know, where you got to do something that may incriminate you or make you feel ashamed about yourself later on down the road, but it got your foot in the door, would you do it? That's all I'm saying. And if you're at a point where, you, where you're looking for that next big gig. I want you to answer your own question first, and then what I do it. I wouldn't sell my soul. See, I, I wouldn't I don't sell like my soul. That. That's you just that's, I would just stand on that. Anybody selling they sell? They selling their ass <laughs> and mouth. Yeah, let's be more. Let's be one hundred. Ain't no, ain't no let's devil. Be, let's be a little more down to earth. Yeah. Selling your soul is, you know, is is speaking in the sense of you going against something you truly believe in. You right. are going against your. But own do you moral do fiber. you do you truly believe in not giving up your butt for money? We what? I ask females. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm saying. That that would be the only thing you would be going against if you said no. That's all somebody can say. Is, yeah. We, they you getting that? Get, they go they go to that whole stroll. They ain't got no problem with it. It was no, saying, you, you, wait, what? You, you know, you never answered my question from earlier. You know, Black, I'm glad you set me back up. Thank you. What's that? Expanding on a part B of Black story. <laughs> Black, we had fun with this. I thought you was going to get him, but I'll get him then. I got your back. What you it? Me? Yeah, what it? What it? it? Just what it? Well, well right. yes, I mean, well, you, you go. You, he always expected from me though. So, so what is at this at this party, right? Mm -hmm. We just saying, we just hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. they they managed to get you one of them special cocktails. Mm, with that toothsy. That with that toothsy in it. 
and you wake up the next day feeling a little different feeling a little strange even feeling a little tampered maybe even your body was numb your body your body your whole body was numb you feeling a little sore feeling a little, you know you because you, you, you're on that two sis still so you know you're a little tingly and numb i'm assuming i'm assuming there's a lot I'm of a thing, but... i can't i can't lie on my dick so i would immediately but... have to call my friends and tell them that i'm gay now because somebody raped me in the ass no 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 but the scenario is the scenario is you know you're getting you're getting hundreds of million dollar deals now you know like mm -hmm. what's up you cool you you could suck it up and move on or yeah can you or, can you can you get that out your mind and move on you make it right know, do i know why my booty hole is sore i'm gonna I'm a break the ice on this if you really want to know wait, we, can, hit, we, can, we can show you the video if you really want to know but I, I'm I'm just, back I, and I, feel, I feel like y'all gonna lie again Y'all gonna be like, no, I don't, I don't know. But if I don't remember it, if I just woke up and the deal was did, the paper was signed, yeah, I'm taking the racks. Why not? I mean, I'm not already done. Like, it. like I'm not, I'm not feeling any worse for wear. Pause. I'm not feeling bad you about mean? about what happened. You don't need no ice cream for your butt. You know, you feel me? I might Nike, just you got me right, right, looking at you, man. With, with my hundred racks. I see you, Nike. Like, no, no diddy. diddy. I'm, I'm looking at you, that. buddy. What'd you say, Bear? I said, Nike, I'm looking at you, buddy. No diddy. I'm no, sure. Bear. But in this scenario, <laughs> the thing has happened to you without you knowing. Are you guilty of that? No, it ain't about whether you're guilty or not. It's about whether you would be able to ignore what happened and take yeah. the money or would, uh, would there have to be some bodies? That's why I asked you. I know who did it. Um... If I know I who did you, it, that might be a different scenario. If you really, because if you hear some of these scenarios, right? Like, if you, especially in the music industry, you they, know they, they know who did. Yeah, like they 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 will play the tape back for you if you don't even comply. A lot of them, right? Let's say let's say you don't even know what happened, and you play, you see that tape, and you get how you gonna take that, man? We're gonna play this for whole the whole of Jackson. We're gonna play this for. All uh, whole uh, yeah, we're gonna play this for everybody. Uh, we're gonna put a big screen up in front of your kids' school and play it if you don't come play. Pound Town, yeah, somebody might have to get hurt. There. <laughs> <laughs> are are uh, both are both options possible? <laughs> what you mean? What you mean B? Like, if I don't if once if I don't know what happened, that's one right. thing. No, no, no. You, so if you bold thing. enough to tell me that you did this shit to me, your ass we going down together. You seen the Godfather, right? Yes. Yeah, all three. All right. all right. So so when the singer went out to Hollywood, the Godfather plugged him in with some producers and he became a, a movie star. But then he started like losing his talent. And so Godfather had to flex a little bit. And, and 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 throw some threats out there, um, and that's when he ended up putting up that that horse head in the dude's bed. Mm -hmm. So is this to say like I couldn't get my? So my opinion that I was given was like if I didn't know about it, right? Like I didn't I didn't know who did it. You know I didn't you know whatever happened. But in the other situation, you know when the dude gets out of hand, somebody got to put him in check. So let's say I do get the bread. You know, and then I do find out like, oh, that's the dude, you know, that's 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 that nigga. And so now I'm putting my plan together to take him out with all this bread I got. Gonna it's it's going to be a lot harder to kill this dude, bro. Yeah. He's, he's going to yeah, probably gonna, be on gonna, the gonna go ahead and up for revenge. Y'all realize we're talking about plotting murder or so on a hypothetical basis, right? It's a hypothetical, quote unquote. Okay. This all this hypothetical. You too, weird. Yes, man. That's right, you too. This is all hypothetical. Hey, what what what, what little Dirk said? Uh, all conversations are props. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I've been I've been around some real folks without naming names, some really big people, and they had nice parties and great things happening, and I didn't experience not one. <laughs> of the Diddy stories or saw anything like that that was beyond anything I would consider to be normal. But you say that knowing they're real. I do know things happen. Of course. You want to get the real parties is, is them pizza parties. You want to get invited to one but, of them pizza But parties. let me ask you this. You know that they're real, but when you go when you go to, to any of these parties, 
I mean, does that not be in the back of your mind? Do you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm being for real. Do you feel like that's something you need to watch out for just in case you don't want to get caught slipping with no bullshit? I, I was brought up on not putting my drink down, not playing, not, not picking up a drink and just drinking it. I ain't never done that. So I'm not susceptible to somebody easily drugging me other than like, Matter of fact, I don't even smoke blunts with folks. Yeah, right. it could have been, it could have been you, as high up as the bartender. The it could have been them having the bartender set yeah. you up. You know, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, uh, it could be a situation where, yeah, they invite you to a bar or to a, you know, or to a, a, a restaurant where they got ties there. It'd be right. Like, yeah, yeah. fix my friend. Fix my friend. You know, um, you nah, know, nah, see, it's, see, I'm make that drink right here. I'm making it in front of me. You don't go over there and make no drink. No, I'm not buying that. You made it over there. You got to make the drink in front and, of me. And, and it's all slate of hand, you know. Thing. You'll be surprised how good people are with slate of hand. I, I, I'm yeah. only so good, though. I, ain't, I can't have an excuse for every scenario. I'm just saying that I'm not easily drugged by drink. That's so not- before we get off this topic, mm-hmm. Black, you've been, you been, you, you, you been pushing my man so hard this whole episode. You ain't never... You know, been invited to no weird weirdo parties or no nah. weirdo, weirdo house over on your side. That's a lie. Nah. That's a lie. Nah, nah. He lying. Nah, I haven't been to a a, a, a weirdo party. Uh, he lying. Nah, I haven't. It, it happened at his house. <laughs> you the weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's been he's been he's been to that same party with me. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It happened at his house. See? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was more so of a party that got out of control. Uh, sausage fist. Yeah. Ooh, no. Wait a minute. Whoa, Paul, Stu. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Major Paul. Get out of these, digger. Major Paul. Nah, it, it was a it was a stripper party going way fully wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way off. Yeah. This was at your house, Black. How long ago? Let me take out my. Oh my, man, my that's. Penis. Oh no, nah, it's it's back before anything about marriage was even thought of. Yeah, that about twenty some years ago. Although I was in a relationship. I think we all. Move. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, go to commercial, man. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I wasn't ready. <laughs> No, I was just I think I might have been you was in between. I was I was I was shacked up. I was definitely shacked up. You was in between. <clears throat> That's why we had a stripper party. Yeah. At your house and not my house. Yeah. My house was off limits at the time. That may need to be an episode the right yeah. way to throw a stripper party. We well, yeah, because that shit went way. Man, we might as well just drop it. Let me just Mike, let me tell you what happened. Oh my gosh, we probably we talking about Hollywood parties. This is not a Hollywood, this is party. a Hollywood party. This, this sounds is a like a party. To a Hollywood party as we're going to get. Uh, yeah, because uh, one person told everybody they knew, and the entire neighborhood of sausages showed up. <laughs> oh, I think I think we've talked about this man. before. Like, it, it was dudes showing up like y'all didn't even know. Yeah, yeah man. the That's house was full of from, from the front door to the back door. You can even walk through. Now, Black, this is at your house? Yeah, man, motherfucker, stepping all on my couch, all on my chair, all on my furniture, in, in my okay, bedroom. Okay. I don't, I don't even remember. remember. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even remember again. what color okay. stripper had on. I don't look, 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 I have, I, I got the perfect closer. We getting, we getting towards our closing time, and we talking about parties. All right, what's the worst thing somebody has done at your house at a party you threw? Set the carpet on fire. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. Somebody threw up in my in our bathtub. <laughs> and then and then here's the kicker. Blamed it on me. Yeah. I won't go up in my own bathtub. Like I don't know where my where my toilet at. Come I had on. to pay for the entire apartment to get wood floors. They had oh, an energy in my guest bedroom. You had a what? The origin his guest bedroom. <laughs> no, they did not. We both party and we didn't know where some of these guests went. And next thing you know, they some of them branched off and went in the guest bedroom and cut up. Yeah, that's when you get those. That's when you get those cum blobs on the floor. Uh, mm. Yeah, there was a lot of rappers on the ground in there. Mm. Yeah, condoms, condom wrappers everywhere. <laughs> 
spit all on the floor. You're like, well, who spit on the floor? That's not spit, dog. That's not spit. It's a little jizz. Uh, my fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, just to round it off, I, I think that uh, these Hollywood parties, this is all getting blown out of proportion. People are going to do what they want to do anyway. You know, and there's places in just about every major city where what you're talking about is happening and there ain't no deal being made. Well, isn't that what makes it bad is the fact that like the deal is not voluntary. They're being forced into the deal. <laughs> yes. Are you really being forced though? I, I think some people are, not everybody. I think I don't think not it's you being, being forced. Tricked into it. I, I think say, yeah. I think they find they find out what what you what you're into and they use that against you, whether it's alcohol, whether it's uh, a, a certain drug, whether it's a particular type of woman. And they just keep putting you in that same environment until you break. And, and I once and you I, break, I, they take it up a notch. And I want to let it be known, like you can say no to anything at any at any point in time. But I think I think a lot of it is people don't want other people to know stuff. So that's why they do it. You know, real, real people who really don't don't care about nothing or nobody real quick will be like, I don't care. I don't give it up. Yeah. Put, put it up. Show it. Sell it. Right. Whatever. But a lot of folks are so scared if, of the image, you know, that they'll do anything that now that I got this tape, now you got to put out six more albums for me. They got yeah, that tape on you. Hey, they get that tape on you, but hey, if it's been on that tape and I've been raped, you, you ain't gonna be silencing me. That's crazy, though, man. Just just think but, about it. But, a, a, but guy, he, a guy, a guy can get date raped, and when, and then you drugging you. somebody. That's a, that's wrong too. When he threatened you, he didn't show you the part where 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 you was rejecting because you didn't know it. Stop it! Stop it! I know what I wouldn't do if I was sober. <sighs> We'll be right back. <laughs> you know what I'm like I know, I know what my limits are without the date rate job. So, so what you be saying? You be saying on the tape that ain't me because if, if if I was sober, I would have been doing this. I wouldn't drive my car through a median. I wouldn't drive my car through a median if I was sober, but things happen. I can't find it fast enough. Where it? Where it? You be? Hey man! All I know is we got laws on the book for not drugging people without them knowing it. We know that's illegal. Rape is illegal, right? Hey, filming somebody without their permission is illegal. All this stuff is illegal. Is it possible Somebody that you, you, you hold on, hold on. is it possible that I guess if you reach a certain stature, is it possible that you can have some type of contract or voucher that you can sign before you go to a party? Like, hey man, I'm coming to your party. These are the things I, that can't be done, or the things that I'm gonna I think, be around. Or I think you know. those are NDAs, and those are usually provided by the party thrower, not the party goer. Yeah, I just about to say I've heard of of, of them saying that. They have to sign non disclosure agreements just to enter the party. I'm Some of them even said they have to give drops of blood. But what if you're a high profile person and they want you to come yeah. to this party? If you go into a party and they say you got to give up your phone and sign an NDA, then you walking into a party where some shit's going to go down. Nah. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of party I need to go to then. You better have that phone <laughs> in your boot. And, mm -hmm. and, and if you ain't got a pocket full of rubbers, then you wasting your time. <laughs> So black, you prepared no, to, to wake up the party. next day or so so uh, black? I said you, what? You, you said you prepared to wake up the next day so no, I'm not prepared to wake up. I'm not going to the event. You just said that's the kind red of party you need to go to. What's the red? It is the kind of party he likes to go to. That's exactly to get the kind out of there. He, that's he what he just, just said. He just said that's the kind of party he needs that, to go well, to. Before the unmarried black would have been all hyped up about going to this party. What talking about a, a, a diddy party? A phoneless NDA party. No, I said if, no. I'm not going to a phone. I gotta, I gotta turn my phone in. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not going to that. <laughs> For what? You going to you going to a party where you can't have your phone? 
no, I'm not doing anything now. I don't do nothing. I'll be at home. My wife asked me what I was doing. I said nothing every day because I ain't did shit but work. So, no, I'm not doing that. But back in the day, yeah, I would have gone to a party where I couldn't take my phone. I'd be freaking awesome. You know no what? Phones? Now, that, now that I think about it, as long as I got my car keys and I can leave when I want, I'm straight. Uh, see what I'm saying? Now you're an adult. Thank you. Thank you, you for being me an from adult. leaving when I want to leave. Because you, you know that if you get a single D can get his dick wet at that party, his ass is there. That makes me sound so shallow, man. <laughs> that made me sound so shallow. The truth hurts, bro, buddy. That makes me sound the so truth shallow. Fucking hurts. Man, it bears the same damn way. That's how I, they would drug him to sports clubs every freaking Saturday you night. Mary me, me to no place I can. <laughs> I can't oh take my, my phone. And NDA, I know that that y'all got business going on, and that I don't need to be no part of. Mm-hmm. Man, you can show up in there, and you look, you look behind that guard, and you see them titties walk by. You can be like, I'm going in. Hey, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. We're talking about us going to party. What type of parties you go to over there, B? You know what I'm saying? He's in party land. Yeah, he's in party land in Nashville. I'm quite sure you've had some. Some some extreme parts. You asked yeah. me what, what's the worst part? Of, what's the worst part of you been to in Natty? No, I mean, well, uh-huh. one of the things about Nashville is a lot of the parties are like not house parties. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of the parties would be at a club or they'll be at like whatever, whatever. There's some after parties and stuff, but like it doesn't after get party. too. It doesn't get too stupid, stupid. At the after party in, in, in public, like during the daytime. But the after party. I mean, like, after after party. Let's talk about the after party. You just threw that out there, but That's you didn't know it. But the Diddy parties happen is in the after party. Look, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I don't think these two have been to Nashville. I've never been. Okay, so when you on that strip and you going from bar to bar, you can you can get you can get you can get nice. Yeah, you can get real and so so that's like so when you go to the after party, you first you first rules you gotta make it there. But once you make it there, I mean, you are already nice. What goes on at the after party, uh, B? They fucking. They fucking at the after party. <laughs> the I same think. thing that go on after parties in, the <laughs> in Birmingham, Pensacola, and Panama. So, so, one thing, all right, so one thing I will say, it's a difference in the after hours and the after party. Because, like, in, in Nashville... What time all the clubs shut down in Nashville? In summer, like two or three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, they going the strong, too. Five. But, like, in the summer, everything gets started around, like, nine or ten. Right. So the after party will be maybe at, like, six or seven. In the morning? No, 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 that night, that night. Because cause you've, been, you've been going all day, like. Like, like you, 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 you mean you, nine or ten in the morning they start? Yeah, because it's coming. Man, they party all day on this strip. But you, you boy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you get all out, you, you, you get out for brunch. You get yeah. out for brunch, or you get out for a college football pregame, and you out there, and you don't even have to be on the strip. You just be in the city. You can be in Midtown. You can be in the Gulch. You can be in Wedgewood. You can be in North Nashville. You can be in Hermitage. Is is it's gonna go up somewhere? And you get your little day party out the way, and and then that's a party. Look, I will will say this: it's it's not, it's not like LA weird. You know, they they do a lot of stuff that I wouldn't do as far as like um, drug wise. I don't do that kind of stuff, but like. What's they, they, LA weird though? What's they, weird in LA? Man, come on, you know what's weird. Man, come <laughs> on, man. Why are you gonna say that? You know what's weird, weird about we LA. Party, why, party why like you said else. you're going to a party, I said you're going to a data party, man. Come on. I think okay, I think LA weird is like is out there. Like right. there might there might be the same thing here, but dudes not like or transformers. Or or women, even hey, they, dudes are like they, they, they just <laughs> not going. A man. lot of Decepticons over there. Be. There's a lot you know, of Decepticons. Like, that's right. We got all kind of Decepticons over there. There's a lot of stuff you gotta have your third. Yeah, LA is a melting pot. That's for it's, sure. It, it's Vietnam. Yeah. It's Vietnam out there. See, Nashville is like the meeting point for a good time. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't have no gay men and gay women in Nashville. Everybody's coming from all parts of the country. They're they pretty know, easy they to know know the LGBTQ crowd in Nashville. In Nashville. I'm sure they're easy they to identify. Time. Yeah, there is, but like. This is the same not, thing here. They have their own nah, section. Where but, they kicking it? There's not a whole section here. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but there's not like. In Chicago, there's this place called Boys Town. Right. In Atlanta, they got they got their little strip. There's not that. Okay. But like you but know, they out like, there, so they all mixed in with all like you, Yeah, you might go to a, a bar and they got a flag in the window, and it's like two or three uh, gay people in there. But yeah, like, that's not going to be that's not going to be the the vast majority. Uh uh-uh. You ain't going to go to a bar. Well, I haven't been to one there. The point of it, the, 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 the bar. The point that I'm making though, black is that they're everywhere. It's not just L.A. No, you write it. There are everywhere. Yeah. But in LA, it's it's different. In, in that's LA, also, that's also not specifically what we mean when we say like weird. Like, let's not get that twisted. Okay, right, thank right, you. Like, that's what, all right. Weird. Like, like it's a different kind of like kinky, open, different <laughs> desire thing there. Yeah, like, that's like, true. You, like, can, like, you, like, you can be a female it, on female kissing in public in LA. That, that's yeah, in like, LA like, you can shoot porn and you know shoot porn. Yeah, all day. yeah you, can, you yeah, like yeah. to shoot porn all day. You, know, that's you true. cannot you just you shoot porn anywhere. Else, you know, and, but you and, gotta, you gotta, like, what's going you gotta be, be so in LA where they just shoot that strip in Van Nuys. You know what you sound like? Every white guy in Alabama throws hay. That's what you sound like right there. Y'all have a you I'm quite sure y'all have a porn, <laughs> y'all have a porn district. Yep, Van Nuys. Yeah. It's called Van Nuys. Thank you. I rest Dude. my case. That's I good. thought Van Nuys was like a retirement area. Bro, not Dude. at all that porn. Mm-mm. You need Van Nuys is not a retirement area. You, I thought I thought, I thought that's where nice, um, all that porn. It's more, Bill Murray lived. I thought more Bill to the Murray. west. I thought Bill, Bill Murray, Murray lived Murray in Beverly lived. Hills. It's more to the west than the valley, but you're pretty close in Van Nuys. It's more. Well, you go to you go to you go into L.A. if you want to make a as a porn star or Nashville. I can't imagine any reason why anyone would move to Nashville. So it's yeah, all right. Shit. It's it's a lot of stuff popping in Nashville. Right music, and, country and, music, and, and funnily enough, funnily enough, four out of the ten content creators that you're seeing on the internet right now live in live Nashville. in Nashville. And they're doing OnlyFans. And, and, so what's and, that? And, 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 and two out of ten live in New York, and the other four out of ten live in LA. So what does that tell you? It tells you that Nashville is the OnlyFans hub of America. You couldn't jump off here. <laughs> I couldn't. You couldn't. I make money anywhere I go. I bet you if you could you could go to Nashville and not have to worry about uh catching that Tusi. <laughs> I don't know, man. The people who tend to drug people's drinks tend to look more like the other flavor. Man, I don't think I and 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 this could be my naivete here, but I don't think people drug people here. It's just it's it's you it because of the tourists have a good like, time. Man. Like you like that dead. that young man and RIP to him and, and respect to his family, Riley Strain, he went missing. A while ago after he wandered off from his friends and we still don't know what happened to him whether he was drugged or he was robbed or something but like they robbing people in nashville no nah, i mean nobody knows what happened oh, okay. um you, you know he he got kicked out of a bar and he wandered off and he ended up down by the water and they found his wallet away from his body and then they found his body under a barge in the river um <laughs> So it's tough to say like what happened because there's security footage and, and, and police body cam footage of him walking around town, um, but then there's a, a, a time period where something happens, um, and like I said, this could be my my naivety, but like, ain't nobody got time to be moving like that. Like honestly, like to to sit here, it, it, it's too many people here. Like yeah, like, to sit to sit here and just like just try to drug you. And like, like, like the people that's here at, 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 at six are not gonna be here at seven thirty, right? When when I heard that story Bama, they about it in Tennessee, so I'm sorry. I know they were doing when I was young. I know they were doing it in Bama. Them young boys had themselves something. They used to look. I don't want to say it on here, and I don't want to 
rekindle it and have the younger generation using it. But there was a certain regular everyday product you could have buy off the shelf that apparently Oh yeah, they still doing this shit. They still you know what I talking about now, right? Okay, yeah, let's not say it. I don't want to share that and have that you. going around again. Tell but, me uh, after the show. I but will I, I will yeah, say this when I heard that story about the young man in Nashville, because I've been there so many times. I, I really couldn't understand. I could I, I couldn't see that being like uh you know somebody drugging him or giving him something or taking advantage because it's not that type of place yeah you just Everybody i just can. you don't feel that you don't feel that in nashville and, and and you would you would be naive to think that i would be naive to think that but it's just that's that's just not really the mo of what's going on here right so you don't see a lot of racism and and bigotry in nashville thomas. at all Thomas. Not on that strip, no. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. he just got to go, man. Ala- Alabama and Tennessee are the least racist places I have ever been. Oh, shit. I have uh, uh, way uh, more uh, like, 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 here I, 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 I'm, I'm in Alabama. I'm I'm dead ass serious. I'm I'm dead ass serious. Like I've I've been to Coleman. I, I like like I've been. You've been to Coleman, Alabama, and didn't experience racism. No, I did. I went to Taco Bell, and they looked at me like, "Why is this nigger here?" Oh, okay. But, <laughs> All right. But but, 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 but I'm about to say, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm not. Saying oh, okay, because you just there. said it wasn't. No, you said it was no, least no, no, exactly. Okay. Like I, I I've been to Indiana. I've been to Ohio. It started been, the clan started in Indiana. Ex- the the clan started in Tennessee. Let's not get that twisted. No, no, it started in Indiana. No, the clan started in a town called Pulaski, Tennessee. Okay, we we'll, we'll agree to disagree. We don't have to disagree. They have many we, different chapters. We can, we can look it up. What what about the first chapter? That's what I'm saying. It was Indiana. It wasn't. It, you're saying it was in really these stewards. Let's talk. Let's talk it over in another episode. We'll figure it out. All right. All right. I but what I'm saying. All right, all right. But what I'm saying is, there the the South just there's a different kind of homegrownness, a, a different kind of kindness. Um, the 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 kindness and the and the, and and whether it be just cruelty or just people being rude or you know it's not real genuine racism, but I have experienced racism here in Alabama, and. I would rather live in Alabama, Tennessee, or Kentucky than live in Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, or any of them. Or like any of them. The like Midwest. I feel, I feel much more comfortable here. You don't have to worry about Hollywood parties in those areas, huh? <laughs> Ooh, moo. <laughs> <laughs> you can party. You can party in peace. <laughs> You got to worry about going to pound town. I don't understand it. It's just I just, a, man, it's a, it's you, YouTube thing. Look, it's man, just a, I'm going to just be honest with you. Like, you ain't never said nothing about that. I just can't believe that ain't in the back of your mind at all. No. That's some bullshit. We'll be right back. I come with them big boy toys. I'm making Gucci moves, my whip, bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think this has been enough of uh, our banter. Probably going to cut the last 30 minutes of this one off. No, nah, don't cut nothing. We... Man. <laughs> Man. It's season three, y'all. We back. Man, we just... back, man. The foolishness. As before. And maybe worse. I tried not to curse, but I think I did like 10 times. I'm doing good. So hey. next episode we might get it down to five. Before we get out of here, I'm just want to read, I just want to read this article off real quick. Uh, first, Ku, f- first Ku Klux Klan established 1865 to 18 to 72 Pulaski, Tennessee, uh, the U.S. Uh, in, in parentheses the first Klan. All right. Um, you, so you to all it. our listeners, if you want an accurate depiction of our history, you can listen to at Nike Newell on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> The uh, first plan started to see y'all. Uh, and all your other services. Black Sands' favorite state. So what? <laughs> I had nothing to do with y'all, too. Hey, who's going to hop on Warzone with me? I can't admit what I'm wrong. That's all right. Who's going to hop on Warzone with me? I get on that. Nike, strip, Nike tip strippers with loose change. 
Hey, this is a good episode, man. This is a good one. Hey, this is a good one to open up with, man. Hollywood party. Hey, next episode coming up is LeBron versus Jordan 2. Be ready for that. We're going to have Bios Buck on. Yeah. Yeah. See if he can bring that heat again. Wait a minute. LeBron is not in the playoffs. You're gonna have to bring up Kobe at some point in that conversation, damn it. LeBron LeBron went to a Cavs game last night. Yeah, he at home. We in Cleveland. That boy out there bobbing to the um uh Kendrick and uh and uh uh K dot beat. We need to talk about that. I want somebody to break this down to me. I want to know how Drake can Drake. Drake. Let's, let, let's talk about that next week, actually, because yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Drake can come back, man. Man, I'm gonna tell you like this: can't nobody from Canada be hard enough to fight somebody from from any hood in the U.S. I'm sorry. Man, fuck a fake blood from Compton. Hey man, how tall is Kendrick Lamar? Like five five? Don't matter. He's little. <laughs> oh, y'all fucking crazy. We out, y'all. <laughs> Hey, it's been safe for the mic. Don't forget, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, catch us on YouTube. We on we on Twitter. You can you can find us anywhere where podcasts are going. And just, guess what, y'all? This is season three, and we are back. Peace. I'm making Gucci moves, my whip bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy twins. <laughs>